this is Jim Richter with the Mandolin Blues Lake of the Day. This is number 75, uh, December 10th, 2023. Today we are going to talk about blues pentatonics. Um, I think that because of the work we've done with Johnny Young and especially yesterday's lesson regarding um, seventh chord double stops, it would be good to talk about the blues pentatonic. Some call it the minor pentatonic. I that's accurate, though I think it's a little misleading, and I'll, and I'll explain why. Um, but if you recall, when we talk about pentatonics, we're really talking about five notes of a diatonic scale. So we've been in the key of D, so we've got... That's your diatonic scale, eight-note scale. Now let's take the major pentatonic, which is root one, the second, which is E, third, which is F sharp, the fifth, which is A, the sixth, which is B, and then uh, back up to the root. That is the major pentatonic. Now let's talk about the blues pentatonic. So for me, the blues pentatonic is about playing minor notes against major. And it's that, that, that kind of clash between the two that, um, really gives it its signature sound. To me, that is one of the cornerstones of, of blues music, is that tension that is created. And I'm going, to, I'm going to explain a way of thinking about the blues pentatonic that maybe makes this a lot clearer. It was an epiphany for me. I've not heard others really talk about it in this way. Um, not saying I'm the first, but I, I've not heard it elsewhere. So if you have, let me know, because I would love to read up on it. Um, some call it the minor pentatonic. And one of the ways you could think of that is, is that if I do a minor, a D minor scale, if I take the root, the third, which is F, the fourth, which is G, the fifth, which is A, the seventh, which is C, back up to the root, we have a pentatonic. And it's a minor pentatonic. It, it fits within the minor, the minor scale. However, unless we're doing like the, the, the thrill is gone or a minor blues, so let's let's do that. Um, you know, that's how it would sound against minor blues. But that isn't where you get the most power out of this. That is comparable. Playing a minor pentatonic over a minor blues is akin to doing a major pentatonic over a major blues. Both of them sound really cool, but what happens when you take those very same notes and put it against a major chord? Well, the other way that you can think of, of developing the minor blues scale was the way that I originally learned how to do it, uh, was to take your major scale and then take a pentatonic out of there where you were flatting certain notes. So I would take the root, I would take the flat third, I would take the fourth, I would take the fifth, the flat seven, and then the root. And I would take that from the major pentaton or from the major scale, but I would create a pentatonic where I was flatting the seventh, flatting the third. Those are the two big ones. Um, which, if you do a, in, like I did earlier, if you if you create a D minor scale, those come right out, out right out of the minor. Again, I don't think that's the best way to think about it, but it does lead you more to thinking about how you're using blue notes against major chords. Now, one of the things about blues that then applies to jazz and, and probably rock uh, to a great degree is that blues is a seventh chord idiom. And yesterday, when we were doing the Yank Rachel Johnny Young um, double stops, uh, they were really ac accentuating the seventh. So, like, we had this D double stop, which was A, C, D. There's no third in it, and you don't really need the third. The most important note is that flat at seventh. You could do the flat, you could do the flat seventh, the C, against the D. You could do it against just the A, 
or I could just do it with the third. But in all those, what comes across is that you've got a seventh chord. So that C is critically important. So one of the things that, that I realized was is that because blues is a seventh chord idiom, if I'm playing a 12 bar blues, it's gonna have probably three chords, D7, G7, A7, my one, four, and five. Um, the other way to think about this is, is that it's really stacked roots with their sevenths. Um, and then that was like a mind blowing moment for me. Um, so if I've got four chords, I mean three chords in a um, 12 bar blues, my one chord is D, my four chord, well, my one chord is D7, my four chord is G7, my five chord is A7. Let's look at the notes. If I, if I do, so my, my, my blues pentatonic, minor pentatonic, D, F, G, A, C, D. Okay, here's my root, D. The note right below it is my flat at seventh. There's C, C, D. If I look at my five chord, which is, or let's do the four chord. If I do my four chord, which is G, the note right below it is F. G flat seven of, of, the, of the seventh chord, of the G seven chord. If I go to my A, there's my A, there's my flat seven, G. So really I've got D, C, my D seven chord, G, F, my G7 chord, A, G, my A7 chord. So to my ears, if I'm playing a major blues that, that is using major 7th chords, and I'm playing those notes against it, it would make sense because I'm really playing through the, the essential notes of each chord. I'm playing through the root, flat, and 7th of each. And as I showed earlier, the flat 7th, is really if I play that flat seventh against any other part of the triad, it 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 you you still hear that flat seventh. You're still in that tonality. So I'm going to play a minor, I mean a, a major blues on the way out, twelve bar blues, and play some uh, minor stuff or the blues minor pentatonic against it. Uh, so you can hear how it sounds. Um, for Patreon members, I'm going to put a an exercise that is laying out um, major triads, minor triads, seventh triads, or not seventh triads, but seventh arpeggios, um, major pentatonic, blues pentatonic, a combined between the two to kind of show you how these things overlap. Um, my goal is to really kind of lay out the way that I conceptualize blues playing uh, that I think is very practical for the gigging musician, for the gigging blues musician. And if you're not a blues musician who just wants more blues in their vocabulary, this works equally well for bluegrass, jazz, um, country pop, whatever. Uh, but for Patreon members, you'll have that. And um, we'll do more of this series and uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, you can learn more about me at jimrichter.com. And uh, my Patreon site is patreon.com forward slash jimrichter. Consider becoming a member and supporting these efforts. Also, uh, next year in July, second week of July, is my mandolin camp in Bloomington, Indiana. It'll be myself, Don Julian, Mike Compton, uh, Laurelyn Dossett. And it is an incredible time. It's going into its 11th year. Would love to see you there. Reach out to me if you have questions. Thanks.
Thank you.